Let's do a quick demo of Data Manager, new in Omniscope 2.6. Start by launching the application and clicking the Data Manager icon at the top left hand of the screen. This will bring up a desktop with a blue Omniscope block and no data. Now drag in your Excel spreadsheet, like so, and select the tables that you wish to import Toggle open the orange block to get at your configuration options and the preview button at the top right to see if the, fee the data has been imported correctly. In this particular case I need to select the second row as the field names. Once the data has been imported correctly toggle the block closed and place where desired on the desktop. Now I'm going to import some time series data from an access database. I drag my access file onto the desktop and I select the tables that I want. The three tables will now load as individual blocks which I can then toggle open and confirm that the data has been successfully loaded. I can now take out an append function from the operations section and collate the three tables into one, pick the fields that I'm interested in, in this case just the date and price fields, and I'm going to call the source field ticker. Seeing the preview has correctly loaded the data. I'm now going to trim the excess text from the ticker field using the expand values block. I'm going to pick the ticker field and I'm going to put in the dash as the separator and I can verify that the ticker field has now been separated into two fields separated by a dash which has the effect of isolating the tickers. I can now take the results and join using the merge join block to my original stock sale spreadsheet picking ticker as the primary join criteria and date as an additional join criteria and I'm going to take the merged records with the non-meshing records from my time series, execute the merge, preview the results, and close the block. Lastly, I'm going to take a record filter block and pass the results of my merge through a filter, which looks at the date and keeps only those dates later than 2005. The data is now ready to be loaded into Omniscope, which I do by clicking the load button at the bottom right hand corner of the last block. And as you can see, the data has now been loaded into the table at the bottom of the view, which means I can now switch to the Data Explorer tab, change the bar view to a graph view, remove the table view, set the x-axis to date, the y-axis to the closing price, go to the Connect menu, Connect by Ticker, show the markers, size by the number of shares, but choose to hide the records that have no value. And I now have my three time series with my trades placed on them. Lastly, I can use the filters to compare time series or to adjust the time period that is displayed.